All right, Coach, tight game after two periods, but uh, things kind of opened up. Uh, your thoughts on tonight and the weekend? Well, I thought uh, obviously tonight we knew they were going to come out and play a little bit uh, more determined. Um, I thought we were patient. We stuck to our game plan. Uh, I thought Jay played great again tonight. Um, special teams were a big part of the game again tonight. Our penalty killer did a great job. Our power play chipped in, and I thought our third period was probably the best period of the weekend. Uh, you got the three guys from Columbus on that line that uh, contributed there, that third goal. What have you liked out of them those last six games you've had them together? Well, when they're playing hard and they're playing uh, the right way, they get opportunities. They're skilled players. Uh, uh, Sean can, they all can skate. Sean's a, a real presence underneath and a big body. And Jack and Kiefer are, are a good complement to his speed and his uh, work habits. And... Kiefer's a goal scorer, Jack's a playmaker, and uh, they've been working real well together. Uh, you had production out of a couple lines, and a senior starting it off, Taylor Richard, again um, netting one from out in the blue line. Uh, how exciting is it, and how much does it pump that team up for him to get that first goal when he's usually not the one to get the party started? Well, it was a great play by Labs, and uh, you know we had traffic in front, and you know Taylor did what he's supposed to do, get the puck to the net, and had eyes. So. Big goal for us. Uh, we were kind of on our heels there after two penalties in the second period, but uh, we get up one. Everybody feels good about you know going into the uh, intermission with a with a lead. So, uh, like I said, I thought our third period was uh, was good from start to finish. Uh, you preach a one game at a time approach, and rightly so. But taking uh, all the points through this weekend, when you guys are vying for that home ice spot. How important is that moving forward into this weekend? Well, it gives you an opportunity this weekend. So uh, we'll focus on Monday now and take it one day at a time and control the things that we can control and uh, hopefully prepare well for uh, uh, what will be a battle on Friday in Duluth. How much do you think the emotions of senior night factored into the win? Well, I just think uh, the importance of tonight's game in general, I think uh, uh, you know our guys are ready to go, and obviously there's a little more added incentive with with senior night. Sometimes you don't know how that's going to work out. Um, sometimes it's too emotional, and the guys are a little bit down after the the ceremony. And um, so we've gone both ways. I thought tonight we started a little bit slow, um, but we came on and we stuck to it, and uh, we had good contributions from a lot of guys tonight. Little things that maybe everybody doesn't see. And um, like I said earlier, again, uh, the third period, I thought the guys came out and really uh, were focused on, on getting the job done. Um, how does it feel to get a sweep back from Colorado College? Uh, hockey. Our conference is tough. Mm -hmm. you, you focus on every game, and uh, you control what you can control. And um, we don't think about things like that. That's not part of our culture, part of our style. Um, we play every game like it's our last, and we move on. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, Kevin, obviously it's senior night. You guys want to come out and finish the last uh, regular season home game on the right foot, and you guys did just that with a 4 nothing win. Just your general thoughts? Uh, yeah, I think right, down, right now, this time of year, it's all about playing for each other. And um, really, that's been our focus the past couple couple weeks, and it's paid off for us for the most part. And um, you know that's the most important part in uh, playoff hockey is playing for each other and only worrying about what you can control. Uh, only the second time this year you guys have uh, pumped out over 40 shots, and you know what did that have to do with this this win? Just the offensive pressure you guys had sustained the entire entire three periods. Uh, yeah, it's it's important. You know, you gotta in order to score goals, you gotta get the puck to the net, and I think we struggled with that the first half of the year, um, but. We've really tried to simplify our game, you know, play north-south rather than east-west um, and focus on getting to the net front, burying chances and, um, you know, just giving ourselves a chance to, to put the puck in the net and create some ugly goals. Uh, with this potentially being your last game in front of the home fans, how important was this to you, especially with the game you had? Uh, but, you know, speak for your class in general, what was it like for you guys, your seniors, to go out like this and uh, potentially have a, a nice little lasting mark with a shutout? Uh, it was pretty special, you know. Places like this are, um, the reason they're special are the people that surround it. And we have an unbelievable support group and our families and the staff here and uh, the teachers and 
the fans. So uh, it was a special, special moment for us. I think uh, there were a lot of tears before the game. Uh, I remember looking around and the younger guys were all had tears in their eyes. I said, guys, we're not dead. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny, but um, no, which, which means that, you know, we're doing our job and um, passing on the legacy and hopefully those guys can carry that on in the future. Um, but it was definitely a special moment for our senior class. Um, before tonight and then throughout the game, what were the major emotions that were th going throughout the locker room? Uh, there were a lot. Um, tears, happiness, you know, it's a bittersweet feeling leaving this place. I remember personally my first time when I got to campus, I said, I never want to leave this place. And I've been saying it every year that I, that I walk on campuses, man, it's going to be tough to leave. And uh, that part's approaching, but hopefully, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good, a happy sadness um, because it just means that it was so impactful on our lives. Two perfect games from, uh, from your end, and I was telling the guys I didn't say shut out on the broadcast in the last 10 minutes. So Thank you. You're welcome for not Thank jinxing you. For <laughs> I think somebody said it uh, last Friday at Western Michigan. So. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Chad. Um, no, I mean, it was, uh, it was a, a tremendous performance by the team. I mean, you look at the, the guys blocking shots. I mean, last night it was on the penalty kill, and tonight it was more five on five. But... I mean, we, you know, limited, really limited their, their grade-A scoring chances and, and their second and third opportunities and stuff. And, I mean, I think the most important thing is, you know, the two wins from the weekend. So, I mean, it's, it's huge and it keeps us alive and it, you know, it's, it's exciting. Uh, not only defensively, but offensively, you guys have awoken and really the last month, month and a half, uh, upping the quality scoring chances, really refining the neutral zone play, finding those passes that you were struggling with in the first half of the season. Uh, it's got to be you know, a comfortable feeling for you and goal, seeing your team around you taking strides moving forward and really playing the best hockey of the year they have so far. Yeah, I mean, I mean certainly. I mean, you know, for, for me, I, I see them execute like that all week in practice, so it's, it's definitely nice to see it transitioning over to games. Um, and obviously, we lost a, a ton offensively after last season, so, um, but yeah, it's, it's great to, to see guys clicking, and I mean, I think it's the second or third time in the last couple of weeks we've had over 40 shots, and um, so, I mean, it's, you know, scored four goals. I don't think we scored four goals the whole first half of the year in a game. So it's, uh, it's certainly exciting to, to see it all coming together at, at the right time of the year. Um, you know, for you personally and the rest of your class, potentially the last home series of the year, uh, what does that mean to go out with two big wins, especially when they're at a premium and you guys are fighting for that home berth in the playoffs? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, you know, I don't, I don't think you could have, could have drawn it up better, you know, in your dreams. It's you know, it's incredible to to get to play two games in front of a sold out crowd at home, and and you know, two huge, huge wins for us. It's you know, you really couldn't ask for anything more. So I mean, we have so many great memories in this building and and things, and all the you know, the, the behind the scenes things, and working out in the summer and skating and all the early mornings and stuff. And so it's just you know, it's it's exciting to be able to, if it is the last weekend, to, to be able to leave it like that. What were the emotions before and like throughout the game? Uh, but before I was, I was, when we did the little senior skate around, I was biting my lip, trying not to cry. I mean, I saw some guys were crying on the bench and some, some guys in my team. I mean, it's, it's been a long four years, but it's, it's gone quick. And, you know, there's just so many memories and, and so many things in that building. But I mean, ultimately when, when the puck drops, you have to be able to, to put that aside and, and focus on the game. Cause if, if you can't focus, then you're not going to execute and, you know, nothing to be worse than than losing your last potentially home game and obviously from a standing standpoint that have been devastating as well.